Newsweek is reporting on a stunning development at the magazine Charlie Hebdo. They say, quote, Laurent Sorisso, editor of the snarky French satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo, said in a recent interview that the publication will no longer publish cartoons depicting the prophet Muhammad. Sorisso told a German magazine Stern that Charlie Hebdo had accomplished its mission. Quote, we've done our job. We have defended the right to caricature. Uh, Soroso was careful, they continued, to mention in the interview that the magazine had not become possessed by Islam and that the editors still believed they had the right to criticize all religions. Okay. So if you think you have the right to do it, why would you make a rule saying nobody at the magazine can caricature Muhammad anymore? That's like saying... No, we believe in a right to free speech here in America, but I'm just going to pass a law saying that you can't criticize atheism. That's the equivalent of me doing that. No, I think you have, you have the right to criticize atheism, but we're just going to make a rule that says you can't do it? Yeah, but then you would be infringing upon that right, wouldn't you? Even at your own private company, you say, I believe we have the right to criticize all religions. Well, you're telling your, the people who work for you, no, you don't have that right anymore because we're making a rule against caricaturing Muhammad anymore. So they don't have a right, because if they do it, there are going to be repercussions. You're going to fire them. You're going to do something. There's, that's not a right. In fact, you're telling them, you work for this company. If you want to continue to work for this company, don't do that anymore. No, 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 no. Look, man, it's not like, you know, people should, for no reason, when it's not in a news cycle, shit on everybody's religion for no reason whatsoever. They should have the right to do that, but is it advisable to do so? No, it's not advisable to do so, but what if a story comes up where it makes sense to do so? What if somebody comes up with a clever, uh, you know, uh, cartoon based on a news event that involves Islam, where it involves drawing the Prophet Muhammad again? You're going to say, uh, you know, no way, I'm not allowing it anymore. But don't you realize that you let them win then? Don't you realize that the people who did the attack are now going to fucking, the, the groups that were involved in uh, Muslim fundamentalists, are going to celebrate now. Do you, you, you're, you're letting them win, and you're not even acknowledging that you're letting them win. You're saying, you know, yeah, rule totally against it. Dude, but look, nobody's telling you for every single fucking magazine, I want a Muhammad cartoon in every magazine. Mock him in every magazine. Nobody's telling you to do that. Nor would it really make sense for you to do that. But if a situation comes up where it's ripe for caricature, you've now made a rule against it. I think you, you are scared, and I think you are kowtowing, and I think you are letting them win. Look, I'm, I'm sick of this double standard horseshit, man. The New York Times did it not too long ago. They said, when they were covering the uh, Muhammad cartoons, the Charlie Hebdo uh, uh, shooting, the terrorism there, they said, well, look, we find it gratuitous. It's not necessary for us to talk about the cartoon, because everybody else is showing it, so, you know, there's no need for us to pile on to offend more people. That was their argument. Fast forward a couple months, they said, when it came to, to Christians and uh, an exhibit of the Pope made of condoms, which offended many Christians, they decided to run the picture. So wait, you just said before when it was the Charlie Hebdo thing, well, we don't need to pile on on top of uh, to offend religious people. It's not necessary. Uh, okay, Pope made a condom. You get the picture, right? We don't need to show it. You said for, when it was the Charlie Hebdo situation, well, we don't want to pile on religious people. We don't want to offend anybody. But then you decided to offend people when it came to Catholics. Why are you doing the double standard? No, there's not... Stop with the fucking fake intellectualism around this. Well, it makes sense to not show up because... No, no. Show it for both. Show it for both. If you truly believe in freedom of speech, you show it for both. Okay, and guess what? Moderate Muslims, by definition, are not going to kill you over a cartoon because if they kill you over a cartoon, guess what? They're not moderates! They're allowed to be offended by it, of course. But you don't have a right to not be offended. So this idea of, well, come on, we've already proven our point, so now we're just going to give up on our point. Well, then you haven't proven your point. So just don't, all I'm saying is don't make a hard rule against it. I'm not saying every, every time you print something, you know, a, a magazine, show a picture of Muhammad. I'm not saying that. I'm not, I'm not saying rub it in. Oh, look, we're fucking disrespecting you. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is if you make a hard rule against it and you don't allow anybody to do it now, you are letting them win. Whether or not you realize it, I don't care how you rationalize it, you are letting them win if you're saying, we will now do exactly what uh, 
Muslim fundamentalists want us to do. Why would you let the fundamentalists win? You wouldn't let the fundamentalist Christians win. You wouldn't let the ultra-Orthodox Jews win. Why the fuck would you let uh, the fundamentalist Muslims win?